Hello and welcome to another chair vlog on Doctor Who, of course, as it always is. Uh, so this week we're talking about the girl who waited. So I'll start off by just looking at my tweet of the time, just so we can get the reaction. Okay, so that was uh, Doctor Who, the girl who waited. A rich episode filled with good lines, great moments and some beautiful camera work. Fascinating and strange. Opinion seems to be heavily divided in this episode. Uh, a lot, because on the one hand we have people saying um, uh, it's completely awful that, that there was the the motivation, the character motivations were completely absent. The plot was just silly and it didn't work and it didn't make sense. And on the other hand, we had people going, "Oh my God, this is fantastic! This is f great!" And, and ah, and, and oh, wow, and wasn't it different? Wasn't it great? And I think I'm probably going to head more towards the positive side this time. I'm quite surprised by who was saying that they liked it and who say they didn't because this week you know what was quite surprising is that um some of the people that usually say oh 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 i hate it all uh you know were this week going oh my god it's marvelous and then you know on the other hand we have people who are who are always uh you know sort of uh, usually a lot more positive about Doctor Who. this week one in particular was just going evil like that um though perhaps not quite as strongly as that um I think it was really good. Why did I think it was really good? Because I cared about Amy for once. It's been such a long time since I gave a damn about that character. Because I think Moffat really has written her as the most unlikable, unsympathetic character companion there's been in ages. Because she just doesn't care about anyone but the Rory and the Doctor. So that was good. We'll come back to that. Rory, he just keeps being awesome. He punches Hitler. You know, he has all the he has the only good lines in the last episode, and in this episode, he's just brilliant. And Arthur Darville's performance, that who plays Rory, was amazing. I mean, like when he's choosing between the two Amy's, oh, good, yeah. Sorry, the idea of the episode, the girl who waited, uh, was that they arrived for you know another sightseeing adventure. Amy, Rory, and the Doctor, and R Amy ended up getting trapped, uh, and they had to save her, but unfortunately, they couldn't save her in time because you know there was an accident with time and she ended up waiting there for 36 years then of course it came to the point where they were able to save the younger amy but the older amy was still there so they basically had a choice do they save the older amy or the younger amy um and the older one was fighting for his existence and saying you know i am a person and i'm different and if you save that amy you'll kill me which you know you can understand why some people would say that's very very silly but i don't agree so the Doctor as well. The Doctor had some fantastic moments in this episode. I mean, he just, he's, you know, it's those bits where you're seeing the Doctor kind of being a bit kind of, you know, dark. Um, and he's, you know, he, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's doing things that make you go, uh, uh, you know, because in this episode, he was quite harsh to Amy and Rory. And, and, and I don't, and like they said in the confidential, I don't think Rory will ever trust the Doctor in the same way again, because Rory lied to them. Rory, uh, sorry, it, the Doctor lied to them. The Doctor said, you know, spoilers of course, uh, I'll be able to save both of them, and then we can, you know, let them both exist, uh, the older and the younger Amy. But of course he lied. He shut the door on the older Amy and made Rory, 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 Rory choose who, you know, who to take, and of course they ended up taking the younger one. And it just, it was harsh, but some fantastic, fantastic moments and some brilliant lines. I really enjoyed that. It was different. It's, it's a very original episode. It doesn't, it sort of stands out in a way that things like the Night Terror and um, the pirate one earlier in the series just, just, just didn't really do much because I had lots of standout moments some great lines. And I've got to say, Karen Gillan, one last thing, Karen Gillan, her acting there. I really enjoyed it because... A lot of people forget. I think she's actually quite a good actor. If you've seen her in the in the limited amount of stuff that she's already done, you find out she's actually not that bad an actress. It's just Amy Pond is perhaps not the best of characters because, you know, a bit limited. Just, you know, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, I loved that. That was great. Four or five. It was a great episode. Different. I cared about everyone in it and had some great Doctor moments. Rory was awesome. And I cared about Amy for the first time in ages. I just hope that they can build up to this. And I hope... One of my good friends, he suggested that 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 Moffat has been laying the tracks for a big culmination of plot points for a long time, 
and that we're going to get a big, big payoff at the end of the season. And I hope that that is the case. Um, I yeah, that was a great episode. Uh, perhaps not one uh, to first see if you're wanting to try and find something to watch Doctor Who the first time. But it was a fun episode. I enjoyed it. I cared about all the characters. It was good. But I can see why people say it wasn't. Uh, but I think it's good. Four to five. I'll leave it there. Um, see you next week.